Back at 640 now. Today, AAA will release its annual car guide, giving drivers an unbiased understanding of the latest automotive technology. KPRC2 Zach Lajway visited AAA's Automotive Club of Southern California's Automotive Research Center for a behind the scenes look at what goes into providing us with the most up to date info on vehicles so we can find the best car that suits our needs. It's where the rubber meets the asphalt. And we were granted access onto the historic Auto Club Speedway in Fontana, California. On that Mustang Mach-E, uh, in a little over nine seconds, traverse this slalom course. Not only do we look at that time, but we also look at ease of operation of the vehicle and perception of control. Megan McKernan, group manager of automotive services for the Automobile Club of Southern California, explains the slalom is one of 12 categories each vehicle is evaluated on. Fuel economy, visibility, ease of entry and exit, cargo capacity. So again, it's really looking at all the everyday components of a vehicle. One of the studies that we conducted here at this facility was our pedestrian detection study, where we were looking at vehicles that are set up with pedestrian detection systems that are supposed to apply the brakes automatically if they detect that pedestrian. And what we found with that study is those systems don't work 100% of the time. In order for a vehicle to be featured in the annual car guide, it must be a hybrid, all electric, plug-in hybrid, or an all-new vehicle for the model year. When we're talking about premium fuel, there's a difference between required and recommended. If it's required, you really should use it. Um, but checking your owner's manual and, and finding out whether it's recommended or required. If you're driving a pickup truck and you're towing a trailer and your vehicle says premium recommended, you probably should use premium. At AAA's Automotive Research Center in downtown Los Angeles. We were one of the very first emissions labs in all of California. We have a four-wheel drive. A chassis dynamometer, a treadmill for a, for a vehicle, and that allows us to measure the emissions of the vehicle if it's gasoline, for example, or look at the range if it's an EV. Also controlled inside the dynamometer is the temperature. Temperatures can range from 20 degrees to 95 degrees. It really has a dramatic um, decrease on the range when you go that cold or that extremely hot. In addition to vehicle evaluation, the car guide covers the latest automotive topics for the times we're traveling in. Nobody was buying vehicles when the pandemic started, and so then they waited a year, and then everybody wanted to buy them at the same time, and there's just not the supply. What would be your advice to the consumer looking for a car right now? If you don't have to buy a car right now, probably waiting um, to wait this out until prices kind of subside is probably the best. The car guide features 55 to 65 vehicles. Today is the day this year's edition is available online and in select AAA offices right now. One major takeaway is to remember, no matter how fancy the latest gadget on a car might be, these are tools to help the consumer not replace the consumer as an active driver. A lot of good information in here. Mm -hmm. And you know those chips we've been talking about for the last couple mm. of years? Oh, yeah. McKernan says that shortage is not going away anytime soon. No kidding. Yeah. Right, well, so maybe good luck finding the car. <laughs> right. You love it's it in, in here, the right? Yeah. yeah anyway. We have the pictures to look at. So <laughs> <laughs> It'll be used one day. Thank you, Zach. Thank you.